Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another manual graphics tutorial. So it's been a while since I've posted a GIMP tutorial, but here I have one. This one's um, inspired by Symmetry Tut's Light Leak tutorial and many other um, Photoshop tutorials. So instead of using Photoshop, we're going to be using GIMP to create this effect. So to begin with, I found this stock image, which we're going to load up right now. So we're going to just click File, Open, and we're just going to open up our image. I'll leave a link in the description for this certain image. We're then going to grab a new. Uh, we're then going to duplicate this layer. Um, we'll call this Copy One, and Copy. Let's call that Copy, and then this. Uh, Original, original, because um, we always want to duplicate a layer, bef um, the original, before we start um, applying our effects. So we're simply going to be using some gradients and um, some fills to give us this nice effect, using some cool brush strokes as well. So we're going to make a new layer, and we're going to call this orange. And I'm going to grab an orange color. I'm going to be using this color, E7 AD23. And I'm simply going to make sure I'm on linear and FG to transparent as my um, gradient. And I'm simply going to stroke up and to the center of our image from our bottom right side. Straight up like so. And I'm going to set this layer to screen. And you can lower the opacity. I'll just put it on 90. Now we're going to make a new layer. And this one's going to be called red. Like so. And again, I'm going to pick a red color. I'm going to be using this red color, BF150D. And I'm simply going to do the same thing. Drag it to our center of our document. Like so. And again, we're going to just give it the uh, mode of screen, set the opacity to 90. Now, to get, um, as you see, some of our section of our canvas still isn't um, coloured yet, with our nice colours here. Sections like here are just coloured by the um, two colours, but we're going to give the whole document a really nice fill. So we're going to start off by making a new layer and we're going to call this fill and we're going to set the mode onto soft light and we're going to pick a color. We're going to pick a red um, orange color which is this one that I'm going to use and this color is E76423 and we're just going to fill that in. and lower the opacity to around 45. And that gives us a nice burn look throughout the whole document, as you can see. It looks really nice. Now we're going to um, add a few brush strokes just to enhance our image. So we're going to put um, this one on to, we'll just call this brush uh, fill one. And if you see speckles on my screen, that's just my monitor messing up and haven't found a fix yet, but um, I should be fixing that soon. And for this one, we're going to be using uh, uh, the same orange that we originally used. We're going to grab a brush and we're going to get quite a fuzzy brush and quite a huge size. Probably a bit smaller than that. That's way too big. Sorry about this guys, let's just set the brush way. Here we go. And we're simply going to stroke up, up the sides like so. And we'll call this, we'll put this on screen. 
just give it some nice and we're definitely going to lower opacity on that one gives us a nice bit of brightness down here now we're going to add our brush um, we're going to call this our light and this we're going to get our orange again and this is where we set the brush to a huge size something like that and we're going to click here like so That's, and we're simply going to set that on to soft light and just lower that opacity on our brush fill here we're going to get our eraser and that is definitely our eraser we're just going to raise that top section smooth that out there we go so here we have a simple burnt effect I'll just hide the opacity of this one a well, 250. A simple burnt um, color effect that we have. I'll call it sunburn. A sunburn effect to our photo here. So thank you very much for watching this GIMP tutorial. And I shall catch you in my next video. Thank you for watching.